What is going on everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Pokemon Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. Today we are taking on Team Rocket. We are going to start with a team recap because we did have a, uh, a slight change in the party uh, as of last episode that I cannot, I, I've been waiting for for a very long time. Uh, we have Daryl sitting at level 30, holding that polka dot bow to power up that strength with low kick, high jump kick, and reversal as well. The new member of the team, uh, sort of, is Martiz, our Alakazam. We finally got Alakazam in here, still holding that focus spin, and the moveset's the same. Uh, not a super exciting moveset quite yet, but I'm really hoping that we can get Psychic and then maybe some TMs for some other moves, but we'll see. Uh, we have Varen at level 32 with Scratch Cut, Bite, and Water Gun. I have a hair in my mouth. Ah. Uh, we have our shiny scissor origins sitting at level 32 holding that scope lens with pursuit false swipe extreme speed and metal claw we got powerhouse our articuno with that amulet coin so we can get a little extra money with gust powder snow fly and surf and then last but not least we have lover our magneton sitting at level 33 holding the magnet to power up thundershock along with tackle thunder wave and sonic boom as always, guys, the movesets are really the, the downside of our team. It's not that they're bad, it's that they could be significantly better. So, hopefully, as we go through today, uh, we gotta take on the Radio Tower. Hopefully we can actually learn some new moves in this process. I'm gonna put Powerhouse out front here. Uh, we, haven't, we haven't used Powerhouse a whole lot uh, in the last couple episodes, and I just wanna make sure that we, uh, we get that going. Ooh, that Team Rocket music is delightful. Uh, guys, I hope you're doing really well. It's the middle of the week. We are getting through it. Uh, I will go ahead and say tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be out of town for work. Uh, I do have to make a trip to the office, which is in a completely different place. Uh, and so I may or may not be able to record. I'm going to do the best I can to still get an episode up, even if it means having to double up today. Uh, to try and get some more done. Uh, but I do like to stick with the, the one a day kind of episode structure. It seems to work pretty well and we've been doing okay with it. So I'm gonna do the best I can to get that going still. Uh, so just know if we do miss it tomorrow, um, it will be back on Friday, of course. So no worries at all. Uh, that's interesting. So we'll just keep powder snowing here. Uh, also, guys, I'm really excited. So. I, uh, I want to talk a little bit today about something completely unrelated to Pokemon or magic, which happens to be music. Uh, music is, as some of you know, I think, a very big portion of my life. I've been into music for a really long time. I play a couple instruments. Uh, I started out with a drum set, um, was in a band for a while, which is still in the mastering process of the album, the final album that we wrote like seven years ago or something like that. Um, but we figured, you know what, we'll master it and do all that stuff. So we are at the final point of mastering for this album, and I cannot wait because it is going to be up on Spotify and all that stuff. It's going to be a really fun time, I hope, uh, because, you know, this it's one of those things that's like, it's really big for, for me to say, like, and for my friends, I'm sure, that worked on it. It's like, hey, we wrote this thing, and yeah, it's not perfect. Yeah, we wrote it like seven years ago. But it's still really cool that we did that, and so I'm just stoked to, to have that done and have something there that is, you know, just something to be really proud of. Um, wow, that does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Ooh, sorry guys, my nose is like slightly runny today. Allergies. Ooh. Uh, anyway. I'm gonna fly. Does this avoid, uh, self-destruct out of curiosity? That'd be interesting. Uh, take down. Okay. Um, I don't love that. I'm gonna fly again. Anyway, so that's almost done, but on top of that, I- Oh, yes, please don't hit. Yes. Oh, that was so well-timed. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I also, um, did pick up guitar. So I wrote drums on the album and did all that stuff, but I also now play guitar because I live in a town home. I lived in an apartment for a while. I couldn't play drums actively like I want to. Uh, and so I had to pick up a different instrument. I just needed something else to, to play. And so I picked up guitar. I have an acoustic guitar. I have an electric guitar, but I very recently, um, very unwittingly, not unwittingly, I probably shouldn't have bought it, but I did. It's a little gift to myself. I bought a, uh, an Epiphone Firebird guitar, 
uh, which is one of my favorite body styles of guitar. And if, if anybody out there is a guitar player, you know, I think it looks really cool. You obviously are gonna have your own opinions. Um, it's a very specified guitar, like it's not really great all around, but it's a really pretty guitar and I've always wanted one. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna bite the bullet and do it because Epiphone did release one that wasn't like crazy expensive. Uh, and so I went for it and it's coming tomorrow. And I'm really excited because I really, really love that guitar, and it's it's coming now, and I, I just can't wait. Uh, and so I bought that. I also I never had a practice amp. Um, I've been playing. I've got like a, a Mac and some software and stuff like that that I usually run uh, to play my electric guitar, which is fine. I record with it a lot and do that kind of stuff. But like for ease of just sitting down and playing, it's not really the greatest way to do it. Uh, and so. I'm actually really stoked because I also got just a little practice amp. Uh, nothing crazy, but just something that I can sit down and like play. Uh, we're gonna leave in here and just surf. I wanna get Powerhouse leveled up. We need some good moves on Powerhouse. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, got a lot of stuff coming uh, and I'm really excited about it. I know it's like ill-advised purchases because Caitlin and I are very much in like We've been very much in money savings mode because we do want to like pick up a larger house at some point and do the whole family thing. Uh, and so that is still very much the goal. Um, but I did, I, I looked at like where my savings was this month and all that stuff and I was like, I could very easily swing this. So I did. Uh, and I feel bad about it slightly, but I'm also really excited because uh, it's a really pretty guitar. Uh, so that's on its way. Yeah, uh, the the practice amp is coming in today, actually. So I'm, I'm excited to kind of get that hooked up uh, and see how it goes. Ryder Landon was defeated. We are amazing. All right. Uh, there's a lot of Team Rocket grunts. We are going to do our best to fight at least the majority of them, um, just because, you know, we're, we're here having a good time, taking our time. And just uh, enjoying some fun with you guys. So we are gonna fight the majority of these guys. Not a problem though. Uh, I don't know if the physical or special defense is stronger with a Porygon. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's just try Surf really quick. Surf is stronger than Powder Snow, despite it being Stab. I would assume. Um, but we'll see. Wow. Okay. Uh, Anyway, so yeah, if you guys play any instruments or if you do anything like that, let me know in the comments section. I'd be very interested to know, uh, one, what you guys play, what instrument you have, what you enjoy doing, um, and if you have any thoughts on the, the impulse buy that I just had, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> uh, Alright, we're gonna surf this thing, hopefully get this sand slash out of here in one shot. Um, Get this out of here. Also, I'm really stoked because uh, Will, which is the other half of It Resolves, uh, Will and I are planning to hang out this weekend and I haven't seen Will in like a really long time. I'm just stoked to just like hang out and have some friend time with Will. I think we're probably gonna go either play some magic or play some disc golf, do something like that. Uh, and I cannot wait. I absolutely love both of those things. So uh, easy for me to say I love it. Um, all right, so this is terrible. We can't really stay in. Um, but what do we have that really works against this is the trick. Uh, it might just be Lover. I mean, it's not very good, but probably the best we've got. <laughs> probably ought to heal up Powerhouse here too. It's gonna do very little. Uh, I mean, I don't know if Thundershock or Tackle is gonna do more to be honest. Um, it is, yeah, I guess Thundershock makes more sense. Given that it's part flying, it becomes neutral, so that helps, I suppose. I mean, we're definitely gonna do more damage quicker, so this will outpace. That's gonna do nothing. Uh, yeah, alright, <laughs> let's get this out of here. Zapdos is so cool looking, though. Don't get me wrong, I'm actually really happy we got Articuno, uh, but still pretty cool. Yes, I would love to swap out. Uh, let's go back into Powerhouse. Um, we should be able to like fly or gust this thing out of here. No problem. Uh, and get another level maybe on Powerhouse. We're, we're, we got a lot of levels very quickly on Powerhouse. We're up to 33 probably at this point. 
don't know when the move. I don't know the learn sets of this gen, uh, and so because it's been so long since I played, so I have no idea when Powerhouse is gonna learn a new move. But <clears throat> let's get Daryl out. Uh, I did look at the levels for like Giamani, uh, and it looks like we should be okay. Or excuse me, the Rocket Executive, uh, whatever. But um, I think we'd be okay against them, so I'm not really terribly worried. They're probably going to be like 33 to 35-ish, is my guess, uh, with the modifier, so we'll see. Uh, let's, before I forget, let's go ahead and heal up Powerhouse here. Whoops. Super Potion, good thing we've got so many of these. <clears throat> uh, and let's actually swap out here, let's get Origins out front. Actually, you know what? Daryl's the lowest. Let's get Daryl out front. We do need to get Daryl leveled up here. Uh, I'm trying not to use Martiz too much, given that Martiz is, like, pretty much uh, where he needs to be. <laughs> He's very, very high up there. Alright. Got three battles on this floor. We're sitting at eh, 11 minutes. We're doing okay on time. This is a battle packed episode that is for sure okay well daryl bad decision we're gonna get daryl out of here <laughs> uh granted daryl will get quite a bit of experience uh from this moltres so that's good lots of uh of legendary birds that's a little scary i wonder what was randomized to the legendary birds because there's a lot of them in here all right Water gun this thing. We need to get a better move, like a water move on on Varen. Uh, water gun's not great, if I'm honest. Uh, so here's to hoping we can get a new one soon. Um, we did pick up the TM for Bubble Beam, uh, but along with Surf, uh, unfortunately Varen can't learn that. So <laughs> Mind Reader, I'm gonna say no. Uh, all right. What we got next? Oh, that was it. All right, well, that was quick. Go us, we're amazing. So many battles, so much time. All right. We got this, guys. Uh, I think there are five floors, like, in total. So we're actually, we're chugging along, guys. We are chugging along. Uh, as a reminder, uh, while we are fighting off this Persian, if you guys would like to support our channel, please feel free. You can just like the video, and that does so much for us. But additionally, if you would like to do a bit more, uh, you can join, actually, or just subscribe. Like, if you don't want to pay money, subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. But if you would like to support this channel on, like, a larger scale, uh, there is a little join button down there next to the subscribe button, which we finally got set up. So we do have a membership plan now. Uh, for our, uh, that's so annoying, <coughs> for our, uh, YouTube, so please feel free, if you are interested in supporting us, that is a great way to do it, uh, and like I said, we'd certainly appreciate it, uh, don't feel like you have to, of course, but just a, uh, a heads up, let's go back out to Daryl, Daryl's about to get tons of experience from this Blissey, look at this thing, it's just a giant pink egg, alright, uh, low kick, that should do a lot. Look how slowly. <laughs> All the way, there it is, and it was a crit. Oh, Daryl, that's amazing. Whoa, almost to level 32, I like it. All right, fight this last grunt, and then we're good to go. Next floor. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, there's only two more. I did get a uh, walkthrough pulled up just to be safe and see how long, roughly, that this would take. Uh, we should be good to get all this done for the most part in this episode, but uh, this is the last one on this floor, obviously. Two more on the next, and then we, I believe, have one more floor after that, so we'll see. Level 32, Daryl getting up there. I like it. Uh, it's good to get Daryl leveled up for these, like, normal types, because we don't have a great way to check them other than Daryl, so that's helpful. We'll, I guess, put, uh, put Powerhouse out there to take out this Bell Sprout. I don't know if it's gonna be able to do it, but we're gonna try. I got this. Don't you worry. And there it is. Alright, cool. <laughs> Powerhouse needs, like, Wing Attack. Wing Attack would be great. Uh, Ice Beam would be amazing, honestly. 
Uh, we'll go into Lever. Lever should be able to Thundershock this thing and get it out of here. Done. Easy. One shot. There it is. Alright, cool. Almanite down. I believe that's the last Pokemon. Nope. One more. Metapod. Alright. <laughs> Powerhouse. Let's just do this. <laughs> oh, good. Good, good, good. Alright. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. Gus this thing out of here. Let's just be done with this. Uh, we are getting close to that level 30 cap. Uh, which, by the way, is... I, I believe I've mentioned it before. We did uh, ensure that at level 30, all Pokemon are fully evolved. Uh, so when we start getting to that level, which we're very close now, uh, that just means that everything should be, at least, if the randomizer worked properly, should be fully evolved. And that makes the game slightly harder, but also avoids those, like, hey, here's a Metapod at level 50. Like, nobody... Nobody cares about a Metapod at level 50. All right, Daryl. That was a solid hit. Uh, a Ladybug. Yeah, we'll swap out. I guess. Honestly, no, we're not. That's ridiculous. I'm just gonna strength this thing. <laughs> There's no reason to be worried about a Ladybug. I cannot think of a single move that thing has that I would be scared about. All right, cool. One more Pokemon. A Shelter. Well. Yep. Uh, here we are. <clears throat> oh, there's the flinch. All right, low kick it one more time. Get it out of here. Love it. All right. We're so close to level 33. We have gotten a lot of levels on stuff in just a short amount of time, it seems. All right, this is the last trainer on this floor. Let's go. Let's do it. <clears throat> And we are sitting at 17 minutes. We're doing okay. All right, Firo, not gonna stay in against a Firo for obvious reasons. Um, we could probably strength it, but I don't want to risk anything. We're not, we're not here to risk at the moment. Uh, not when we've got a boss to defeat. That was exciting, right? <laughs> <coughs> All right, Thundershock. Let's get this thing out of here. It is faster. That's interesting. Well, it is level 33, I suppose. I mean, we're also level 33. I don't know what Fira's speed stat normally is. Ooh, that's a little scary because they could have pursued it while we swapped into Lever and that would have been terrible. All right. Lever getting a little experience, I like it. All right, cool, we did it. Go us, we're amazing. We are the best there ever was. Oh, we have to, that's annoying. All right. This is the director, guys. It's time. Let's do it. Ooh, look at all those Pokemon. All right, a Crobat. Ooh, that's actually a little scary. Level 33. That's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna swap real quick. The question is, uh, I think we'll go into Powerhouse. Just because Lever is slightly low, um, I mean, I think it'd be fine, but like, let's just be safe, you know? It's kind of my take. Wow, that does so much damage. That's a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Freeze. Uh, ooh, okay. That was a little scary. If that had worked, that would have been terrible. Get it out, yes. All right, cool. Daryl getting a level, I'm sure. Level 33, love it. Powerhouse getting some XP. Let's go. An Ursaring. All right, Daryl. Now we've got clean swap-ins on everything, so that's helpful. We should be good to go. I believe in us. Um, after we do this, I'm trying to think what else we need to do. There is the rival battle, I suppose. Uh, and then the warehouse stuff. Can we one-shot? Probably not. Yeah. We're pretty close, though. Honestly, that was pretty solid, given that it's also level 33. <laughs> okay, calm down. Wow, okay, this is actually a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, at some point, we may have to just Martiz it up and uh, throw some Psybeams around. 
A Nido King, this is one of those times. Smart is, get in here. We, oh my gosh, level 35. Okay, uh, I'd hope this can one-shot. It may not be able to. In which case, we might be in trouble a little bit. Oh, Martiz, you sweetheart, you. I love it. That was great. Okay, cool. Houndoom, uh, we're gonna swap into Varen. And we will water gun this thing to death. <laughs> Houndoom Sprite, I really wish was cooler in this gen. It's such a cool Pokemon, but it just doesn't look very cool in this game. It looks kind of, I don't know, just weird. It looks awkward. Dang, that did a lot. Um, all of these Pokemon are doing a lot of damage. All right, let's water gun one more time. Scared, slightly. Oh man, there's the poison, all right. Let's get a crit. Let's get this Houndoom out of here. Let's not even worry about it. Let's get it done. Oh, so close. So close. Okay. Uh, we... We have to heal up. I don't really want to swap in anything. Okay, that should help. There's the faint attack, though. See, that's the... This is going to do a lot. Alright, so do we just swap out? I can't really swap into that. Martiz is a bad idea. The only thing we could potentially swap into is Powerhouse. Lover's not a good call, but Powerhouse really isn't a good call. Um, well, this thing really is good against our team. Huh. Do we outspeed is the question, and I don't remember. I'm gonna just go for it. We have to go for it. We may lose Varen here, though. Okay, okay, so that does mean, though, I think the poison might take Varen out. I think we had a party loss here, guys. Maybe? Oh, maybe we can... Please, yes. Please don't get hurt by that poison. Yes! All right, we didn't lose Varen. That is so freaking clutch. Okay, so he is on three HP. We have to remember, we have to antidote right after this. Um, bubble Beam, yeah. Look how pink Corsola is, that's crazy. All right. Yes, we did it. We, we saved Varen. I was very scared about that. All right, done. All right. Uh, last Pokemon too, uh, Beedrill. What do we have for Beedrill? I think just Powerhouse, or we could just Martiz and like Annihilate. Um, nah, we'll just go into, we'll do the type effectiveness thing and we'll stop there. Let's not overthink, let's be safe. Let's Antidote for sure, and then we'll be good to go. I am gonna fly. Good. Because uh, this does a lot of damage, so that might knock it out. Yeah, there we go. All right. That was a close one. Uh, I was a little worried there for a second, but we did it, guys. We beat the Team Rocket Executive. Uh, all right, so what we will do, I think, is we are going to leave this episode here because we are sitting at like 24 minutes, so we're doing okay on time. I think before we do that, uh, let's... Let's make sure, because I will forget in between episodes. Let's go ahead and cure that poison really quick. And we will stop here, guys, in the episode here. I hope that you guys had a fantastic time. We are getting there on Team Rocket. We got a little bit more to do, but we are kicking some butt. So let's keep it going in the next episode. We do have a rival battle in the next episode as well. So do stay tuned for that. Hopefully it'll be up tomorrow. If not, definitely Friday. Uh, so do stay tuned. But thank you guys so much. Please show some support on this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you very soon for our next episode of the Pokemon Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. Thanks so much, guys. Oh,